Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the content approval. Let me explain what it is. So in when you have a list or even a document library, when a new item is added to that list, it goes into a pendant status. And when it is in a pendant status, nobody can see that item except somebody who the person who created it and also somebody who has the manage list permission level so and the reason is because you want to make sure things get vetted properly before it's visible to, the, to everybody else in the organization so let me show you exactly how that works the setup that i have is i have i'm logged in as, as myself in one browser and then in another browser i have logged in as john doe so i can show you how exactly this works so I'm going to show you how you turn this feature on. So if you click on the list tab at the top list, the ribbon opens up, click on list settings. You click on the wrong one. You click on versioning. Let me cancel that out. Click version settings, version and settings. And you have this section here that's called content approval require content approval for submitted items click on yes and when you click on yes this bottom part here becomes enabled and when an item is in a, in pending mode it's also a, a draft so you can tell it who should see the draft item so you can say any user who reads it only users who can edit the items or only users who can approve items so I always like to use the last option here. Only users who can approve the items. And the only ones that can approve the items are those who have the author, who was the author of that item, or as I mentioned before, somebody who has the manage list permissions level. Okay, so let me click okay. Click okay. Let me click on budget. And let's create an item. Let's create two items. New item. I'm going to say HPZ book. It's already in there. Let's say spent $1,500. Let's say with a budget of two grand. Let's monitor. Oh, I'm sorry, laptop. Oh, other. I didn't see a laptop. Okay, other. Save. Let's click a new item uh, let's say um i don't know pixel pixel 4a spent 349 let's say 1500 with the budget and mobile click save as you see here it has pending pending now one thing if you didn't notice before I had turned on that feature, this column was missing. But when I turned it on, any items that are in a list before you turn on that feature, they automatically get a approved status. The two items I just added uh, are in pending mode. Let me bring over John Doe here so you can see. And let me refresh the page. So refresh. So the page just refreshed and as you can see nothing nothing happened. And that's because those items are pending. Let me go back here and let me go in and approve one and then reject the other one so you can see what happens. Approve or reject. Let me let me do that again. So to approve or reject you click on the ellipsis here. It gives you more options. You go all the way down to advanced and choose the approve for slash reject option. Let's approve this one. And once I do that, it says this item will become visible to all users. You click OK. And as you can see, the status changed to approved. Let me do the come here, go down to advanced, approve or reject. And let's reject this one. Right now it's in pending, but let's reject it. This item will be returned to its creator and only be visible to its creator and all users who can see draft items. Click OK. And as you can see, 
rejected. Now let me bring over John Doe here. And let's refresh the page. Refresh. And as you can see, the HPZ book becomes approved. But you can't see that other mobile, that other um, item, um, because it was rejected. So John Doe will never know what items were submitted. He would only see items that were approved. So I hope that content approval makes sense. Um, leave your comments below and please like this video and share it. Thanks. Bye.